So Parramatta. Right to left. And the captain for South Sydney, Luke Stewart, brings it back. Good hands by the big Englishman. Away again from the halfback to Sutton. Two decoys, then Luke, then a cutout ball. Telenor for the corner. He likes it, so does the referee. This is just a play that every side uses. Two decoys through. That got Kristen Inu racing in. He needed to, to stay out and drift a little bit or come in and make the tackle. And Isaac Luke, simple pass to Patchouli Talanoa. Hain did his best, but Talanoa was way inside the sideline to be taken over. So Luke from the sideline and just missing on the left side. Five minutes gone then. The Rabbitohs leading the Eels 4-0. Burgess on halfway. Get ease and my boy comes up and takes him. <laughs> Bones were rattling all over the park. <laughs> and Clark. And here's Keating. Ooh. Ben Smith did well. Robson. Oh! Corner oh. has been hit hard. <laughs> <laughs> Big tackle from Burgess. Taken by Kalis. Wesser. High ball. Away to Sando. On to Sutton. They probe again where the try came. And it is Colin Best. Who scores the second try? You see Parramatta come up to there, then they start drifting and going back towards the line. And that allowed Colin Best to get on the outside shoulder of Kristen Inu. And he's a strong finisher, Colin Best. He's got a great athletic build and just pushes off Inu. Isaac Luke looks to extend the lead. That's the view. And the kick by Luke is almost identical to the earlier shot on Talanoa's try. So South Sydney. Leading Parramatta 8 0. To add another tackle was Nathan Hindmarsh. Sutton's kick. It was also dainty. It's come off the legs of Tim Manor. They'll run him down quickly. Manor, though, will play the ball. 38 out from the line. Picked up by Chris Inu. Inu with space. And he dodges and makes his way down 15 out from the line. Play back to Horro. And it's an awful pass. But down. it's a penalty, it's been knocked back out of the hands of Horror. Interference on the play. The ball, Luke Bird has taken the two. He accepted the invitation. They took the percentages. And the Rabbitohs lead the Eels at half time by eight points to two. Poor again. Now for Jared Hay. Driving it down into the corner. And coming quickly is Bird, and they make the tackle. Last tackle then for Parramatta. Robson puts a kick in. Check that, Benny. And Check that. going upstairs. It's impossible to tell. Just have a look at this one. They were talking about Tim Manor. Jeff Robson has just kicked it. It's touched the foot of John Sutton. The ball sits there. Manor comes in from underneath, behind. Can't get to the ball. It never reaches the line. No. Be no try this five meters from the line daniel mortimer showed it to high mars went long to horror he flicked passes tahu tamana tahu has scored that is tim manor and justin horro takes the defense on attracts two defenders both champion was dragged across towards the sideline and by being dragged across by horro that opened up the hole back on the inside. Sando goes with him. And Tamanata, he didn't have to travel far. And here's Luke Burtz trying to convert. And he does it with apparent ease. Big man. Best. Sutton. Sando. Sando across for Simpson. <laughs> he was nailed over there by Tamana again. He's on the halfway line then. And the kick from Mortimer down into the corner. It's sitting down, and Luke Bird has scored. Luke Bird has come from nowhere and has put the hand on the ball. They're after kicks and get there before anyone else, just through sheer enthusiasm. It's line ball, but I'm okay with that. Reese Wesser coming across. 
He doesn't seem to be sprinting as quickly as a man on his outside. Looks like a try. Sean Hampstead's the video judge, and he's given the try as he should have. Here you go. And within six minutes of Tahu putting his nose in front, Burt has rejoined him. The kick from the sideline, he's got it! Oh, he is just hitting them so sweetly. And Tim Manor again. Hasn't he run some metres with the ball since coming on? He's been outstanding, absolutely outstanding. And gets his side a penalty here, trying to get up. He'll come straight off. Luke Burt can put a nail in their coffin here. His kick from right in front, as you might have guessed, would be successful. He's left. Burgess. And a penalty for a steal. No. Oh, he's put him no. in the bed. No, that's uh, ridiculous. This is disgraceful. Why is he gone? This is disgraceful. Well, because they've given the caution, you know. That's the next penalty go. Nathan Merritt finding Sando. Puts a little kick in. Kicks again. Scooped up by Hayne. High shot. All right, do we get another sin bin? Do we get another sin bin? Oh, no. Come on, keep going. Send them all off. Do we get another sin bin? It's going to happen. This will be like it was 24 years again to go, Peter, when South Sydney ended up with 10 men. And well, like I said, Gus, that game, they should have had six out there by the end of it. But... All right, so number one, there's no penalty there. That's not a high shot. Bow champions! Bow! And number two... Bow! Oh, please don't put him off. Bay champions being yeah, called bow! out. Well, they got to. They, they know they got to because they sent the other black off. Please. This is two referees. you got the same talk no, as the other blacks. No, right? Yep, yeah, OK. Well, those two referees there, you're sacked next week. Gone. Gone. I really think Sam Burgess was right. Instead of that, they're confronted by the blue and golds attacking strongly. Hindmarsh with it now. Lots it back for Matthew Keating. He's a try for Mortimer. Daniel Mortimer scores. Left side, Hindmarsh gets the football now. Mortimer touched it first. He had to get back up on his feet. And look at that, got back into position. A lot of players would have still been on the ground after 70 minutes, but he got up to back up after being tackled. Be two plays previous, or two passes previous, and there he is to scoot 10 metres. Big Bird from right in front. Daniel Mortimer's try, converted by Luke Burt. And uh, that puts Parramatta very much in a comfort zone now. 22 to 8, the halfway line. Now for Hindmarsh, this is Chris Keating, almost lost his footing. Goes through a little gap, gets it back to Ben Smith. It's gone wide for Eric Gross. Gross, chased by Clark. Wesser takes him down. In this Parramatta victory, 22 to 8. Their second only of the season.